during Albertan. This is to say what happened. It was a gunshot, attempted suicide, up through here. This is a skin graft here and here. It's the second one. First one was taken off my left lower leg. It, my body didn't take it, it rejected it. So I took a second one off my right side and did that here. I had to replace the bones from here to here with my, part of my left lower leg bone. There. I had no bone here. There's no bone all the way along there. So I'll have to use part of my right thigh bone, which is a, what they call a live bone, because it has blood veins going into it, and that's what you need. So I'll go from here to here with part of that bone there, a plate on each side, take a blood vein on this side of my neck, and put it from here over down to this side of my neck. That will be six, uh, they'll put the nose in at the same time. I shall shake my upper lip is right now. You'll put the nose in, the artificial one, and you'll wrap it with all your skin from here, debulk it, sit it down, wrap it all over so I'll look more human like everybody else. I'll have the nose and all that. That will be six surgeons, 13 hours in OR, and the week in ICU, I was told. This eye doesn't work at all. I wear a patch on it because it's always infected because my skull bone, the orbital bones didn't heal right there. Tilted outwards, so my bottom eyelids on both eyes are always open. They don't close all the way. So it gets infected like that. So I have to put cream in it and I put the eye patch over the top. It also helps with my equilibrium because it does on the side, I can see their movement. I can't see anything clearly, but it helps with my balance only seeing through one eye. This eye only works at 50%. So there you go. That's basically what happened. Have a great day. May you guys have good karma.